so in this section we'll first fetch a genera so let's go to this rawg.io rock.io uh, website this is the uh, open source api provided by this uh, game listing company so it provide a api for all the games so here if you did not uh, uh, have an account then create a new account and then go to api section so once you are in the api section right uh, just click on get api key and you will see this api key over here okay we will use this api key in order to fetch this uh, game list as well as the genera for the games from this website uh, if you go to the documentation of this website you will see this documentation and the, all the endpoints to fetch the game listing genera for our application so right now uh, we are dealing with the genera so if you go to genera right if you have this uh, get list dot video game genera and by calling this api endpoint and by providing the api key we will get the response so in the response we will get the name of genera the id of that one and the image background okay the games code and uh, other fields as well so this api key uh, and this uh, raw dot uh, uh, io uh, api we are using in our application so in order to fetch uh, data from the api we need http client to fetch the data so here we are using the axios which is the promise based http client for a node.js okay and this is very uh, easy and fast uh, in order to fetch the response from the any api and you just need to um, execute this particular line of command in your project to install the axios so copy it and uh, go to your project and open a terminal and inside terminal just paste the command which you copied okay so it will install this uh, axios dependency for us now uh, in our project folder structure create one folder in source called services okay where we will uh, put all our apis inside that i will create another uh, file global uh, called global api.jsx and inside that we will define the axios okay so first uh, let's define the uh, key which uh, we created from the rawg uh, site right so this is the key which I have you can create your own account and then you will get the new uh, API key for then in order to create the axios uh, command right so just go type axios uh, here you can type anything okay the constant uh, name and then axios dot create okay and inside that you have to define some uh, some of the property so in this case we will define base url and the base url for our api uh, is uh, this one okay so this you will get it from the uh, documentation of the rog so if you go to this site right you will uh, in the documentation section you will find this okay so if you go to the api section And inside the documentation, uh, you will file all the endpoints and the um, URL of the API as well. Okay. So we we are right first we will fetch the all the uh, genera for the games. So this is the endpoint. Okay. So if you see right, this is the endpoint for the that one. So let's go back to our application. Here we create our constant and we can say get genera list okay and uh, just we need to pass the gate method so gate and then the endpoint which we pass okay and then the api key so we key, we already defined so just add key like this okay you can define this key in an environment variable you know uh, for the security purpose but right now for the simplicity i keep uh, in this uh, file only now in order to use this particular uh, 
API right in order to execute that API in different component you need to export it so just type export default and then get general list okay once you exported it now you can anywhere you can access it so now let's uh, go back our header okay and inside the header oh sorry uh, just go back to home.js so here we want to show general list create correct so i will create one file uh, in the component called general list dot jsx okay add the default template okay and for now uh, let's add the general list in a home jsx in this first section right so add that one make sure you will import it so once you are in the application right you will see the general list here right which uh, is nothing but this component okay so if you go to general list dot 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 for example dash dash, dash and you will see this component is imported okay perfect now here uh, just um, define one method called get general list and do the arrow function here we will uh, call the our api okay so just type global api make sure you did import it and dot the get general list right and just thing and just console it the response okay. also we need to call this method first time whenever uh, this component get loaded right so we will call in use effect make sure it will execute only once so i uh, pass the empty array and then call this method okay now control save let's go back to our application open the inspect panel because we just console the uh, result uh, in the console so it's saying actually is not defined right so go back uh, to our global API make sure you import this axios okay so it's imported now save it go back to our application so it's saying axios dot create is not function make sure you uh, instead of axios create just add the create not the axios create and let's save it and if you refresh it right you will get the data okay so right now uh, with the help of axios right we will get this a lot of different um, objects but the actual data is in the data uh, field okay and in the data field we have the results where all this um, general list is available right so we just want the results so in order to do that uh, let's go back our general list here you have to write response dot data dot results and it will uh, give us only the results you see only uh, right now there are 19 uh, general right so 19 um, list of objects we are getting okay so i hope you understand this particular section okay if you have any confusion uh, then let me know in the comment section in the next section we will uh, design a components so that it will be displayed on the ui part okay but i hope you understand uh, how to fetch in how to fetch the uh, response from the api with the help of axios okay make sure uh, here that we we did mistake that in order to use the axios right you have to do just axios dot create and make sure you import the statements as well and uh, yeah so see you in the next section